Hello and welcome to another review from Beer 52. Um, yeah, it was a bit mixed with that one. I knew I wasn't going to get that many watches on that. I, I, even at the minute, it's apparently just 70 people and only six people have watched the full version, which was about 35 minutes long. I didn't realise it was going to be 35 minutes until I actually put it all together. So over this time, I'm going to be a bit, bit through quicker because obviously it's, I've had a bit, uh, obviously the setup episode has already happened and I don't know if it'll take any longer because the box is massive and apparently I've got the same sort of thing before but yeah it, I'm not too sure about the packaging because I can pretty much rip this open without much help but there's also no sort of pull on this one which I find a bit strange so maybe the introduction one's a bit different did get the episode, well, the uh, name of the box wrong. This one is the Netherlands. The one that I did review was called The Best Of, which I don't know if that meant that I was, it was a, a box of ones they had left over. So hopefully not. Let's move it off to one side. Uh, so this is what I did notice on there. It's the story of craft beer. Um, yeah, it seems to be a bit of a, I'm zooming on the back of my head, it seems to be a bit of a novelette about it, so I might give that a quick read at some point. Ah, there's a reason why it's a bigger box. It's all bottles. So what's this one? Sophie's chili and garlic pita chips. I'm guessing they're something like, I don't know, goldfish biscuit sort of thing. Okay, let's try with that. There's not seem to be much in the packet for that one. So yeah, there is actually 12 bottles. There's actually, sorry, 11 bottles and a can. Let's get the can. Van Streak Hazy Weekend, a New England IPA. It's a normal can with a sticker on it. Wouldn't that be red? Uh, Not really, because it's, it's focusing on. It's so wide angled at the minute. It's ridiculous. So. Not too sure what to make of this one because this was supposed to be the Netherlands one, which it might be. In Moten, Moten van Rust, you weekend het leven lekker hazy. I'm guessing that's more like a cloudy beer. So. Tai Tai from Apidius. Which... Wow, it's an 8% actually. Tai Tai, same, sh same, same, but different. A spicy, a spicy, a spicy tripel with Thai flavors. That's that's going to be an interesting one. Right, can you guys see that? It really looks. Focus on that thing. There we go. That's that's the level apparently. Glanjanus White I IPA. Uh, Ingredient and tap water. <laughs> that's uh, an odd one. Doesn't seem to be much in the way of English on that one. How bizarre! The pure. La Trappe Trappist Pure, does it say what it is? Yeah. Blonde and slightly cloudy, 
refreshing fruity and hoppy ale with a pleasant bitterness and a mild dry finish. Uh, so it just seem to be yeah, not too sure what to make of that one. Uh, 4.5%. Ah, there's another Lechrap, which is apparently blonde. An agreeable, agreeable and tingling ale with a lightly sweet and smoothly bitter and malty taste. Okay. Um, seems to be another one as well by the same company. Yeah, this is by the same... I oh, know that one. Right, so Gladys is... Glaginus is a different name, okay. And this is Balhamel, another IPA, which is 6.5. Yes, it seemed, yeah, that was the strongest at 8% so far. Uh, that's a bit of an odd picture for the dog. Again, yeah, we're going to be saying the same thing. Just say tap water again now. So this one again, it's another La Trap, a De Bell. A dark tapest ale with a full malty caramel sweet taste and a subtle influence of dates, honey, and dried fruit. So that should be quite uh, quite fruity. Just say seven percent. Right, so this might be similar to the Tai Tai, because it's got a similar top on it. Manon Life. I don't know how you pronounce that. Sison six percent. Refreshingly, uh, refreshingly stereotype free beer made with love and lemongrass. Open up. Right. That's. The Netherlands seem to be having some weird tastes. Uh, some slightly different tastes, but I shall see. A bit plain in its advertisement. Red and ready. Uh, duh, duh, duh. 10.9 Plato? Don't know what that means. And ingredients water, barley malts, golden pumice crystal, bitter hops, challenger, golding, dry hop, cascade, and top fermenting yeast. That's a 5.5%. Um, and again, saying it's net from the Netherlands. Mm. Not too sure to think of that one. That seems to be a bit plain. Uh, again, this seems to be the same as the Tapana. No, it's not. It's different. It's a different one. The Joffen. That's just Joffen craft beer. North Sea IPA. Interesting. This is not just any beer you're holding right now. Anything but boring. That's our motto. Meaning that different we. Meaning that different we brew is. A typically tasty and definitely different, a contrast to the common, but only you can be the judge. Stop reading this label, tilt your head back up, and enjoy your divine craft beer. Right, so they're trying to be different on that one. That's a 6.5. Uh, another Joppen, which is, this one's apparent. A gluten-free IPA, which is 6%. Feisty IPA with pine tropical pine tropical fruit, citrus characteristics. Let's finish with a powerful bitterness from the mosaic hops. Oh, and it's gluten-free. There is some very different brews for this one. And it's... <laughs> right. Uh, duh, duh, duh. Uh, you could do me there. The Bockel, uh, Bockelier, or Bockbeer, with a beastman on it. Again, not much on here that's English that I can tell, but I'm guessing Bockbeer might be like a black beer or something. And I believe that is it from that. Ah, no. 
There's also the Ferment book, which is just their normal like monthly magazine for a 